Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's Liam, and this is Friday on the Baby Beaver Bunch. Um, this week we're talking about 2011 and what's kind of happened for us, and 2012 and what we want to happen. So, 2011 for me, um, it was a pretty good year actually. Um, I, I can't really think of anything that went horribly wrong, which is good. I finished high school, you know, decided to come to Sweden for the year, and now these past few months have probably been the best few months of my life. I mean, emotionally and mentally, I've been the most comfortable here and met some of the best people I've ever met. And that kind of awesome stuff that you hear about happening sometimes, and you wish it could happen, that happened to me just now, and is currently happening. So it's, it's really great. Um, it was a really great ending to 2011. The actual year was also, I mean, it was also pretty good. Um, I started a relationship uh, exactly one year ago, pretty much, and um, that continued up until like a few months ago when I came here, um, and that was really a really good relationship, and I don't want the like relationship to be like the year for me, but it really um, brought my mood up a lot, um, you know, being with someone who you actually really care for and who cares for you, and it's like a really mutual, happy, yay, that kind of thing. It was really, it was really cool to have that. Um, I don't want to say cool, but, you know, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that was a, a nice relationship, <laughs> and um, it, it made my year better than what it could have ended up being. Um, the end of high school can leave some people feeling like, oh, now I don't know what to do with life, and everything kind of sucks, and I realize that I have no friends in high school, and, you know, I don't like the people who I used to hang out with, and ugh. But it was, it was actually really nice for me to finish high school, and um, just, I don't know, what happened? Like, I came, I came to Sweden, and now I'm here, and that's, that's been my year, I guess. 2011 was pretty okay, then. Um, 2012, my goals, I guess, um, I'd like to start transitioning this year, um, I don't know if I'm going to start in Sweden, I don't know if I can start in Sweden, I mean, I would like to start here, and I have the family support that I really want and need, and friend support and all of that, I have, I have what I need, I just don't have the kind of medical, actual, real thing I need, the actual testosterone, <laughs> you know, so... Eh, we'll see what we can do about that, though. What else am I going to do? I'm going to go back home in August, maybe, unless I, for some reason, end up staying here for longer or whatever. So I'll go home in August, and from then I will probably start college or whatever and get a job and save up money for whatever. I always end up saving up money when I don't really have any goal, so I don't know, I'll just save up some money try and have a good time at home, try and not hate everything so much. Um, it's going to be hard to leave Sweden. It's definitely going to be really, really difficult. I'm going to make this this half of the year really great and then try and make the end of this year great as well, but it's going to be hard to um, match up to my time here, I think. So we'll see what happens there. Um, for New Year's resolutions, I again, I don't really have any New Year's resolutions. Not like... I'm going to lose 10 pounds or anything like that. Um, I guess one would be to just do what I want to do and don't do what I don't want to do. And that sounds really like like cliche teenager, you know, and like an asshole. But, <laughs> I mean, 2011 was spent fixing myself and, and kind of getting back into the swing of real life without going insane. Um, and... Now I kind of just want to live normally without having to fix anything and without anything going horribly wrong and just doing things that I want to do and kind of trying to come into my own skin a little bit more, um, which is difficult when you can't, you know, relate to what actual skin you're in. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, but yeah. So hopefully this year will be just living normal. <laughs> kind of enjoying things as they are right before I have to actually go into real life work environment and all of that. Eh, nah, let's not think about that yet. Um, 
If you guys want to watch the same exact video, but from one year ago, then I'll put a little link thing in the description, because I think it's kind of cool to look back on how I felt then versus how I feel now or how I felt two years ago. Um, so yeah, um, that's all, I guess. I'm going to go out with my friends now, and I will talk to you guys next Friday. Thank you for watching, and yep, bye.